back to the Arkham Menard Series preview show. We're going West Racing this week at Irwindale. I'm Casey Campbell. Of course, you know that's Arkham Menard Series PR director, Mr. Charlie Crawl. Hello, Charles. How are you? I'm good, Casey. What's happening, man? And not much. Just uh, just another week of uh, another week of Arca. But yeah. uh, let's go. before we go preview the West Race. What a race we saw at, at the Tricky Triangle at Pocono. We really did get tricky at the Tricky Triangle. Yeah, I mean, what, a, what an exciting last restart there. And, um, yeah, it was a little rougher race than I think we uh, expected. Uh, you know, some, some cars got torn up, and that's always a shame. But, um, yeah, there was a lot of excitement for the race fans, a lot of excitement for those watching at home. And um, I, I, you hate to say a guy who's who's got – you know, two wins already under his belt and is leading the points as a surprise winner. But after the domination of Ty Gibbs the last uh, month and a half or so, uh, I think we did have a surprise winner there. But it's good to see Corey back in victory lane. And those guys are very adamant that uh, they're not going to lay down and let, and uh, you know, let, let the 18 walk off of this championship. So uh, I think we're going to have a pretty interesting month of July coming up here. Yep. Going to be four straight weeks of Arkham Menard series racing, uh, starting next week at Elko. But we have the West Series uh, this weekend, 4th of July weekend, out at Irwindale. And Irwindale, we're going to Irwindale twice this year. And I know that before we preview the race and all that, Irwindale Speedway ha- helped you out a lot last year, uh, especially with everything COVID, especially with really, really tight restrictions in California at the time. And throughout the West Coast, many tracks were either shut down, couldn't have fans. Now we're having fans at full capacity and no restrictions. So it's good. Right. So it wasn't just Irwindale Speedway that helped us out. Um, Tim Huddleston helped us out tremendously. Tim um, is uh, Trevor Huddleston's dad, and he is the uh, general manager out there at Irwindale Speedway. And uh, he was a, a – he's – been a longtime supporter of the the West series out there. And uh, he let it be known to us, uh, you know, anything that he could do to help, you know, keep this thing running, he was willing to do. And, and he certainly was. And uh, it's great to be heading back there twice this year. Um, obviously this Saturday, um, July 3rd, will be the first of those two races coming up again on August 21st. We'll go back for the second one. And uh, we're, it's, it's a great place. We've been running there, uh, not every year, but uh, most of most years uh, since 2000, we have raced at, at Irwindale uh, at least once. And, um, you know, we've got a really solid entry list and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a good race. I think we're going to have uh, 19 or 20 cars out there. It's a pretty good entry list uh, up from where we were last year. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I am really looking forward to it. I'm going to sleep in on Saturday. That's a 10 o'clock Eastern time start. So I'm going to sleep in and get rested. It should be a fun night. Yeah, it's going to be a, going to be a late night for you, especially if you're out here on the East Coast trying to uh, trying to watch that, of course, which is uh, which is where you'll be out in uh, calling from the NASCAR studios out in Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, it should be a good one. So, yeah, it, the Arca West series has been – this is really – you know, the first kind of standalone race for the West series. Of course, we were at Phoenix and we went to Sonoma with the, the West series, I think is going to go down to the absolute wire because guess who's leading the points. Who is Then leading? Todd Souza. Yeah. Of course, you've been very high. Well, you've been very high on all Arkham Menard series drivers, but Todd Souza has been around the West scene for a long time. And I know long you, time. I know you have known him for, and you've known him and his wife for a long time as well. Yeah, um, they are staples. They, they came east with uh, Matt Crafton back in 2000 when when Matt came and ran uh, in the in the truck series for Thor Sport way back in the day. I had a chance to meet uh, Todd and, and his whole gang out there. Michael Munoz, who is uh, Todd's crew chief. I've uh, I, I shared rooms with those guys when we were down in Daytona Speed Weeks in 2001. So, um, yeah, I've, I've known those guys for 20 years, and I'm really happy to see Todd running well. Um, you know, it, it, there's a lot of really um, young drivers out on the West Coast. I'm not going to say that Todd's not young at heart, but unfortunately, like me, uh, you know, gray, gray hair in the beard with the, us gray beards. But uh, I love seeing it. 
Uh, I really do. He's he really has been one of the uh, longtime supporters of of the West Series, and you know he's got a win at Utah that was back in 2008, and he really stepped up his program this year. He's getting some cars, um, uh, maybe not necessarily getting the cars directly from David Gilliland Racing, but he's had a lot of input from David Gilliland Racing, um, and, and I think we're going to see that 13 team continue to perform very well throughout the rest of the year. Should be good. Uh, should be a good season for him, and um, you know he had a couple of really competitive runs last year, particularly late in the season. And it's great to see him carry that momentum on here. Well, yeah, big time. Watch out for Todd Souza for uh, this weekend at Irwindale. Of course, you know, the usual suspects, the BMRs, the Sunrise Fords. We don't really know a lot about these guys. You know, we I kind of profiled some of them. Obviously, we all know who Jesse Love is. You know, Cole Moore is someone we really don't know. Jake Drew is someone we really don't know. Dean Thompson is someone we really don't know. I know him, you know him, but what are we going to see from a lot of, for a lot of these guys? Because, you know, Phoenix race was a combo race. You know, Sonoma was, you know, Sonoma with Chase Briscoe in the field and a bunch of other guys. But this is the first time that we can, you know, a lot of these guys will be getting to know these guys, but what, who are we going to watch? Who are you going to watch out for heading into this uh, Arca West race in Irwin now? I'm going to watch them all, Casey. It's oh, yeah. going to be a, a very competitive field. You know, Jesse obviously was a winner there last year. Uh, Trevor Huddleston's got a lot of laps there. Dean Thompson has a lot of laps there. Jake Drew has a lot of laps there. Uh, Todd Souza, he's, no one's going to have more experience there in this type of race car than him. Uh, the Pedroncellis are both back. And of course, PJ has had a great start to the season. Um, and a lot of people don't re re realize this. Um, PJ's crew chief, Ty Joyner, is the brother of Matt Crafton's crew chief. Junior Joyner, yeah. Junior Joyner. It, you know, the, this community that we live in, it's all intertwined. Yeah. And, you know, that's just, a, you know, you, you, we might not know who these people are yet, Casey, but that's what they're here for. They're here to start getting experience and start building their their name and building their resume. And, um, you know, PJ's had a really solid start to the season and, and I expect him to be up front. And, you know, I think Dean Thompson's going to come out and have a really good race. And, you know, you can't say enough about Bridget Burgess after her race at Sonoma you know yeah. she was up front all night long or every, all day long and every time she got knocked back she drove back up to the front so um, I think it's going to be a good race you know 150 laps is is it's going to be you know not an all-out sprint but you didn't have time to, to sit and wait around you're going to have to go so yeah. uh, should be should be a really exciting race and, and hopefully everybody can tune into it live on track pass Saturday night at 10 o'clock eastern time. Of course, she'll be on the call for that one. Um, kind of, kind of, you know, you talk about, we talked about Todd Souza. Let's talk about the Pendercellis for a second. I know, talk about staples in the Arca West series. There are no better, there are two other people that have been in this going at it, the Pendercellis. I hope I said that right. Um, Pendercelli, yeah. Pendercellis, I am sorry. Last thing I want to do is. Don't let it happen again, Casey. Oh, yeah. The Penrochellis, of course, have been staples in this series. What's it like to see not just a father and son going at it as well? That's great. You know, that's that's what this is. The, the theory behind this is is it has been very clear since you know Arca was was acquired by NASCAR. Is we wanted to continue to give uh, the veteran racer a place that they can come out and compete, but we also wanted to open the door for those younger racers who want to make that ascension into a national touring series racing we wanted to be that first step and and right right there within that family that's exactly what this is you've got a, a veteran driver you've got a young driver um both looking to do the, you know compete at the same level at the same racetrack at the same time it's great this is exactly what we want of course trevor huddleston's going to be is going to be do you feel like he's going to be the one like has the most pressure because his dad is the gm at the racetrack I don't think that Trevor is going to be feeling any additional pressure, Casey. He wants to come out and win every week. And, yeah. you know, when when your goal is to win every week, you always feel that that pressure regardless. You know, it doesn't matter how many people are in the grandstands watching you. You want to go out and win. So I think that's that, I think that's all he needs. And of course, Dean Thompson, of course, is someone that I've gotten to know this year. Really, really good kid. Um, 
What's he been like? Because he's been really, really impressive so far in the first two races. Uh, I think Dean's a great guy, and and I'm I'm pulling I, I pull for everybody, um, obviously, um, but but I'm really looking forward to to seeing him have a good run. Um, you know, he's he's been a real pleasure to work with, and he's a talented young guy, and uh, he's got a great attitude. And and again, that's exactly what uh, what the series is for is for guys like him to come out and. And get that opportunity and, and show the world what they got. And and so far, Dean's been doing it. He's had a couple of really good runs to start the season. I got to say, Bridget Burgess, has, as you mentioned, has been really impressive as well. Uh, got to talk, can have a chance to talk to Bridget this year. Um, of course, her parents come from Australia. And you would never know it from talking to Bridget because she doesn't have that Australian accent like her parents do. Just a little. Just a little. She has it a little bit, but. No. Nope. But our mom Sarah. Oh yes. Where she comes from. Yes, we we know she's uh but Bridget was very young when they came yeah to the United States. So so yeah, but how impressed are you about with her? And of course, you I know I was uh very, very impressed. You know, she she came out and competed with us last year and did a lot with a little. And you know, they've obviously upgraded their equipment here this season. And she's going to be one of three female drivers in the field. You know, Amber Slagle, who is a crew chief by day in the Arkham and Art series, will be here uh, out at uh, out at Irwindale, as will uh, Amber Balkern. She'll be there as well. So um, it's going to be it's going to be very exciting to see these these young ladies get out there and take one another on and, and mix it up with the boys all night long. Amber Balkern, you mentioned her. That's a name that a lot of people, you know, know because of, you know, that BMR Drivers Academy. She's been participating in that. And how exciting is it to have her in the series? I think, if I'm not mistaken, she's making her Arkham Menard Series West debut. Yeah, it's, it's going to be great. You know, she's got a lot of people who remember her from uh, her social media exploits and, you know, the 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 television show she did with Samantha Bush and yeah, she's going to be bringing some eyeballs with her. So it's going to be good to have her there. Always. All right. You never know what's, what are we going to expect at Irwindale Speedway? Nice short track Saturday night. You never know because when you ask a bunch of ARCA drivers, like what's the best time is you can sum it up in just four words, short track Saturday night, because you never know what's going to happen. Right. Well, it's the, it's also the Irwindale Speedway night of destruction. So we'll see if that carries over to our race as well. By the way, yeah, you were at, uh, speaking of destruction, uh, you were uh, at Eldora uh, the last week uh, catching some SRX. Uh, how was it out there? And uh, and uh, took the took your two twins out there to. Yeah, we had a great time. The boys had a lot of fun and, you know, hanging with, you know, Michael Waltrip and Bobby Labonte and, you know, all the old, you know, cup guys and, and smoke. I, I got to tell you, Tony Stewart is classy a guy as you'll ever meet and uh, he's very very good to me and, and my family and my kids and um you know and then you mix in the the indy 500 guys you know tony canon and elio castro nevis and, and paul tracy was a ton of fun and um yeah it was uh, we had a great night yeah yeah for sure always uh, always a fun night as well well don't forget to catch the irwindale race at 10 p.m on saturday july 3rd happy fourth of july by the way on uh, our good friend from our good friends at Track Pass, of course, Charlie will be on the call for that one. And uh, tune in next week because we're going to talk about Elko for the Arkham and Ard series as four straight races for that for the main Arca series starting next week. You got it, Casey. Thanks for having me on.